Alrighty, hello everybody. Good morning, good morning. Happy Thursday. Welcome to your 30 minute hip Pilates workout this morning. It's gonna be quick. These 30 minute workouts go so fast. So whatever you're doing for that minute round, or however the workout is for that time, you are gonna really give it your best for that full 60 seconds. Okay, before you know it, it's done and you're cooling down, resting and it's finished. So give it your all. Today's 30 minute hit class is gonna be focused around abdominals. Super duper abdominals. Feel like we've been doing a lot of just full body stuff in the hit workouts and today I wanted to focus on abdominals. So we're gonna go into a nice warm up, get the heart rate elevated, get the body moving. Sort of low impact, if you wanna make it high impact, you can modify and adjust. We're gonna go down into 10 abdominal exercises, repeat it twice for a minute each. So 20 minutes is just gonna be abs. Remember they are red muscle fibers, so they can take that load. Even though you're burning, you keep going, keep pushing through that burn, bearing in mind, you're doing it with the correct technique, through your pelvis, through your shoulders, through your neck and head, okay? And then a little light cool down stretch, yoga flow type style for the last couple of minutes. Ready? Let's get started. Alrighty. We're going to start with a little brisk walk jog. Just mute those microphones, everybody. Welcome. Hello. We're starting with the jog. We're getting that body going, getting that body moving. If you want to take it into a jog or a little light jump side to side, that's okay as well. So either just brisking on the spot, jogging, or a little a little light jump side to side. Can move those arms, just so we start moving into the shoulder girdle, we start moving into the elbows. Come on, 30 more seconds. Keep moving, keep going. Good, good, good. We've got 15 more seconds just jogging on the spot or brisking or jumping side to side. We're going to go into some hop jumps. I want you to imagine a little beacon on the floor and you're going to jump over this. Now this is going to prepare you for functional movements as well. Jump over the beacon. Sometimes you may have to hop over something. Land with two feet. That's what I want you to challenge yourself to do. Lift two feet. Land two feet, light land, soft in the joints, okay? You go forward, back, side, side. Make sure you're getting over the beacon. Make sure you're not uh, slamming into the ground. Go all directions as if it's unpredictable. Don't think about it. You just gotta move out the way and be able to jump with two feet and land with two feet. Any direction. 10 more seconds. Over the beacon. Five, four, three, two, and one. Number three, jumping jack. Low impact version. Stand in the center, hands and feet. Step out, step together. Step out, step together, All right. Pick up the pace. I want you to imagine holding 5 kg dumbbells in your hands. So make your arms nice and tense. Instead of just flapping and hanging, I want your arms nice and steady, nice and strong. So if I was squeezing your arms to you feel the tenseness, the tightness, you're contracting. Good, keep moving. This is number three of five. Warming up here. 20 seconds left. Go ahead, maintain your pace and speed it up and slow down. Good, and then we're gonna do one more after this. It's gonna be a leg swing, getting into the hip joint. All right, so swing, swing, same side. Reach to touch the toes, long leg, a little bit of a hamstring stretch. Squeeze and contract your thigh to pick that leg up. Preferably a straight leg. Straighter than bent. 10 seconds, we change sides. Reach it nice and high. Swing. Use the arms. 
Good. Let's go into the other side. Reach to swing. Oh, this side feels good because this is my tightest side. So it feels nice to lengthen in the back of the leg. Waking up the hip joint and the glutes. Eight seconds left. And then we're starting our abdominal round. Good, and time. Alrighty. Just getting that blood flowing and the heart rate pumping. Take it down to your mat. Remember today is going to be abdominal workout. Great muscle fibers, don't be fooled by the burn. If you tend to strain through your neck and your shoulders, please place a pillow or a towel. A little bit of elevation can take the load off. And then let's get ready. Placing yourself down on your mat. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Go to start with step one, chest lift. Now, modification, keep your feet on the mat. Level neutral pelvis, lifting your legs in tabletop if you want a slightly more challenging version. Let's go, exhale. Inhale, exhale, chest lift up and down. Really making sure you're not lifting your head out of your hands, but rather weighting your head into your hands. Relaxing your neck, relaxing your face, and really using your abdominals to lift your chest up without closing the gap between your chin and your chest. If your legs are up in tabletop, then you really got to remain steady and still, as well as keeping your pelvis nice and level in neutral with each chest lift. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. Good, we've got 10 more seconds, and we'll be going into roll ups for number two. Five, four, three, two, one. Legs down, straighten there, all the way. Reach your arms up overhead. Inhale, arms, head, chest. Exhale, roll up, reach. Take it down, tuck and roll. Now, usually we go a little bit slower in the usual classic Pilates. I want you to pick up your pace, but not where you're cheating momentum to lift you up. So control the lift, keep it up, reach and control it back down. Going in from one exercise straight into the next. Keep pointing your toes, keep engaging your inner thighs, squeezing and pinning your legs together here. Good, four, five, four, three, two, one. Place it down, lift your legs into tabletop, hands at your sides, open up the fingertips. You can cross your ankles, reverse tuck and curl. Trying to lift your tailbone off the mat, drawing in deep abdominals. Don't just think of the surface six pack layer here. Think of beneath the belly button, beneath the six pack, deeper abdominals to scoop and curl, picking up the tailbone, even if it's a tiny lift. Exhale. Good, 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 good. We're looking at the bottom. How much you can lift that tailbone up off of the mat. The exercise after this is going to be quite tough. We're going to do teeth of prep in five, four, three, two, one. Think of roll like a ball, hands beneath your thighs and knees. Give yourself a little rock up to seated position, hold your balance. Try to keep the legs there, roll down through the spine, and then again, roll up. If you need to grab the back of the legs to help lift you, then do so. Tuck and throw it down. Tuffy, tuffy, tuffy this one. Just try your best. Even if you do five for the full minute. What you're trying to do here is really create the movement from the upper body, not the lower body, so that the abdominals are really firing to lift you up in flexion. Minimal support of your hands to your thighs. We've got 15 seconds. 
and control it back. Good. One more. All the way up. Rest your feet on the mat. Tuck in your navel. Roll halfway back. Hold it there. Hands to elbows. Rotate right, center, rotate left. So you're tucking in your navel and you're rolling halfway back where you find your abdominal tension. And you're going to hold it there and rotate your upper spine. Not because you're moving the arms, because you're twisting your spine. And the arms are following that rotation. Tucking in deep abdominals. Holding steady and keeping your knees still. You don't want to be moving your legs side to side. You've really got to dissociate and keeping everything still, everything stable as you twist. Five, four, three, two, one. Take it down all the way. Arms up overhead. Inhale, prepare, exhale, lift arms, head, chest up. Hundreds, everybody. Hold it there, keeping your chest up. If you want a little bit more challenge, lift your legs in tabletop. Keep your shoulder blades off of your mat. Inhale, five breaths, pulsing your arms. Exhale, five breaths, pulsing your arms. Keeping your eyes steady above your knees. Good. Maintain the strength of the endurance here. 15 seconds. You got this, you got this, you got this. This is number six of the 10 exercises. Four, three, two, one. Lengthen those legs. Full sit up all the way. I call this one a jackknife. Breathe in to prepare. Exhale, lift opposite hand to opposite toe. So lift that leg up. There's a little rotation happening here. Control it down. Don't just collapse. And exhale, other side. So sit up with leg lift with rotation of spine. Exhale, twist and lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, twist and lift. Come on, let's keep going. Don't just fall onto your mat, control your landing. It's still part of the exercise. Five, four, three, two, one. Down we go, legs up. You can use your hands here to your thighs. One leg at a time, Sit and split. Okay? Just to give you a hamstring pull. If you want a more challenging version, don't use your hands, don't use your arms. Just as your legs. Long, long, straight legs. And here, you really want to be strict in keeping your spine imprinted on the mat. A little bit lower impact is bending one knee, okay? You don't feel it quite there with the core strength. Otherwise, big difference strengthening those legs through the scissor. Also, major support if you use your hands to hold the leg. Okay, but just try your best. Good, 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 good. Three, two, one. Join those legs, place them down. Interlace your fingers. Exhale, chest up. Hold the chest lift. We rotate now. Good, keep that chest up, keep that chest up. Side to side, if you feel your shoulder blades touching the mat, try and lift up so you lighten your weight connection to the mat. Come on, stay lifted. Weighting your head in your hands, open up those elbows slightly, 
10, 9, 8, 3, 2, 1, center. Last one, guys. Onto forearms, plank position. Shoulders over the elbows, extend one leg, extend the other leg, and hold your body. Remember, if you need a little rest, knees down, knees back up, nothing changes. No shifts. Shoulders right above those elbows. Think of drawing the hips down with your abdominal flexion and lifting your chest rather than pushing up into a hunched round spine. Use your upper back. Strong elbows pressing into the mat. Go at the 10, 9, 3, 2, 1. Rest there. Good. From the top, no rest. Let's go, let's go, let's go, guys. Chest lift, exercise number one. Interlace your fingers behind your head. Option, take the top legs or not. Inhale, exhale. Let's go. Clock doesn't stop, so use it wisely. Great, keeping the shoulders and the neck stable. Isolating this movement, keeping your lower body steady. Finding your abdominals to flex and lift your spine. We really have to take these abdominals to the next level to feel something the next day to get those micro mini tears and repairs happening. So push through the comfort zone. Take yourself there and extend those legs, arms up overhead. Inhale, hip chest, exhale, roll up. Control down, inhale, exhale up. Minimal momentum. Control the lowering down. Inhale, exhale. Good. Keep your rhythm. Make sure you're not losing the, the load by too much momentum on the lift. You want it to be challenging. Good. There's so many benefits from abdominal strength. So, so, so many benefits. Remember, abdominals, muscles protect all the organs. It is the center of everything. All right, reverse cars. Tip or tuck your legs, cross your ankles, reach your arms out at your sides, tuck in the navel and scoop it up. Make sure it's not just the knees dropping to the chest here. You want to keep a little bit of space between your thighs and chest and lift the bum up. I will scoop and tuck because you want to pick your knees up. Even though they draw towards you, try and lift them and put. Exhale with each curl, each lift. Much easier to connect into those deeper layered muscles by lifting on the exhale. Three, two, one. Good. Tease a rock up, balance, control it down. Exhale up. Fingertips to the back of the knees if you need it. Minimal support. <laughs> Exhale, look. Inhale, control. Try to keep those legs steady in tabletop as you look and as you roll down. It's not an easy one, this, but just try your best to really tilt the pelvis, land with control, rather than just roll and collapse. And if this is really too much, do it with one more. Okay, it's still gonna work. Just alternate your legs. That's it. Good. Keep 
keep there, sit up nice and tall, tuck in your neck, we're halfway roll back. We twist. Twist from the spine, from the torso. Look at your knees, look at your thighs. Keeping that pelvis steady, rotate once on top of the hips, the rib cage. Keep your nose aligned with your breastbone so it's not a neck twist. Inhale, exhale. Good. Five, four, three, two, one. Take it down into hundreds. Option to have your legs in tabletop or not. Inhale, prepare. Exhale, lift head and chest and pulse. Inhale, five breaths. Sorry, five beats of the arms. Exhale, five beats. Feel that you can keep your shoulder blades lifted off the mat for this one. No neck strain. Abdominals picking you up and holding you there. Strong arms, strong straight arms. Good, 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 good. Stay with me. Break through the wall. Good. And release down, lengthen those legs. Inhale, jack like sit up. All the way up with one leg and a rotation. Control down. Exhale, up, twist. Never collapsing onto the mat. Always lowering down gently with control. Exhale, coming up. Inhale, down. Bit of momentum swing allowed here, but minimal. So you're making it challenging to get up. You're feeling abdominals having to do the work, having to lift you. That's it, that's it. And time. Hands at your side, lift those legs. Option, hands at your sides or use the legs to help scissor split, pulling into hamstring or much more abdominals, core, hips and thighs, just the legs, no hands. Keeping your imprinted spine to the mat. Come on, come on. I need you to really use your thighs here. Straighten those legs. If you're using the hands, just a little bit. Find the load. Good. And time. Rotation. Let's do it a little bit different this time. Opposite arm to opposite toe. Reach and lower. So arms up in a T position. You're going to lift your leg, reach for the toe, and then touch your ankle, or touch your toe, or touch your shin, wherever you can get. A little bit of arm support, but you're using your tummy in your rotation. Up onto the forearm, reach, exhale. Make sure you're not dropping your chin onto your chest. This could be a little bit more neck inclined if you're doing it with less abdominal load. One more. And release it. Turn around. Forearm plank. Stack those shoulders over the elbows. Get ready, everybody. 
body. Extend those legs and we up, hold it. Time flies when you're having fun. Tuck in your pelvis, keep your chest lifted. Don't hunch your back. Support your low back, tucking in the belly. Knees can lift and back up. Mind over matter. Come on, everybody. This is full body. Stay with me. Stay with me. A few more seconds. Come on. Woo! Hold it, hold it, hold it. That's it. Five, four, three, two, and time. Good. A little breather. Well done, everybody. We're going to take it into a little cool down flow. So just enjoy it. You can open your knees slightly here. Walk your hands over to one side. Stay seated on your heels. Take a deep breath into the side body. And exhale to the other side. Good. Take a deep breath into side body. And center. Scoop your navel. Hunt your hands and knees. Two cat stretches. Exhale, round spine, tuck up. Drop your head, spread your shoulder blades apart. Now roll and flick your tailbone up and roll through each vertebra one at a time. Lengthen the back of the neck, pull the shoulders back. And one more, exhale, tuck in that tailbone, roll up through the spine. Slight protraction in the shoulders there, draw your belly in. And then slowly lift the tailbone, roll through each vertebra, keeping shoulders over wrists, hips over knees, creating movement through your vertebrae. And then tuck your toes, push up into your V stretch. Hold it here. Make your little adjustments in your position. Push away from the hands, open your fingertips, equally pressing your weight through your hands, your wrists, your feet. Aligning your ears with your arms, just start bending one knee at a time as you really draw that heel down into the mat. Good. And then walking forward into plank position. Tucking your right knee, pull in your tummy, hold it. And then rest it down into that good stretch, flatten the foot behind you. Lift your chest, breathing in, and slowly lower yourself down. You'll make sure that your hips are square in this position. You're not collapsing on one side or one bum cheek. Good, hands back to the mat. Tuck the toes in the back leg, lift that straight leg, kick up your knee, hold the three point pose. Land it back into plank, left leg, tuck in, hold it there, scoop in your double bone, lift. Then land it, hips square, flatten the back foot. Chest up, take a deep breath in. And exhale, slowly drop down to where you can manage as long as you're keeping nice square hips in this position. Good, tuck the back toes back into the hands, lift that knee off the ground, tuck in the belly, lift into three point pose, hold it, and land it back into the plank. Walking your hands to your feet, soften your knees, release head, neck, shoulders, take a deep breath in, scooping your navel, roll up all the way to standing. We're going to do one big roll down to finish it off. Inhale with your arms, wide into your cage. Round your chin, round and hollow your chest. 
Relax head, neck, shoulders, leave your hips behind. Drop into it, just disconnect. Take a deep inhale. Exhale, screw up in your belly, round and restack all the way. Up to the top, roll those shoulders back. Lovely stuff. Well done, everybody. Thanks for joining your 30 minute abdominal hip workout. Next week, Thursday is a public holiday. So there won't be a 30 minute class, but there'll still be Amy's 8 a.m. flow class. So I'll see you Monday again for another 45 minute kit and then Tuesday and Wednesday for the class for Pilates. Bye everybody, have a good weekend. See you soon, drink water. Bye Sabrina, thank you. Pleasure, bye. Juliet. <laughs> Hi Sabrina. Where have you been? <laughs>